Hello and welcome to my extra special bitter grandfather Brudo video. This is the recipe that I'm brewing today. Uh, you will find the full recipe in the YouTube video's description. English bitter beers are not actually very bitter at all. Uh, in fact you may have noticed but this one is actually under 35 IBU. An extra special bitter uh, basically just has a bit more alcohol than a standard bitter. So here you can see I've lined everything else up and I'm just waiting for the grain farvers to get to temperature now before mashing in. So one thing that I'm going to be adding to my setup today is basically this sink strainer. The idea behind this is that it fits onto the actual mashing plate and while you're doing the mash uh, the gauze will actually stop uh, pieces of grain going through. So I thought I'd give this a try today just to see how it works out. I actually picked this up off eBay. It was very, very cheap uh, and obviously came from China, but I think it would do the job nice. The other modification for today's brew is with the filter. As you can see, I have some uh, car repair aluminium um, in a sheet that I've wrapped around the entire thing to stop the end falling off. So now it's time to uh, do my doughing in and uh, as usual I'm gradually introducing the grain to the uh, strike water, uh, giving it a nice stir, making sure all of those grains are nice and wet. The mash plate's now on and the new toy is added. So we can see that this has actually helped quite a bit of the grain uh, from going uh, down the malt pipe uh, and also this beer has got a lovely colour, look at that. So now we're a little bit further along in the mash and you can see the colours are really coming out. Uh, very nice easy mash steps on this one, just uh, one hour at 65 and then the usual mash out for 10 minutes at 75. So that's the mashing all done now and uh, it's time to move on to the sparge. So in my usual style I'll do a fairly slow uh, sparge, uh, making sure that there's an even flow throughout all of the grains. Uh, this is a great way to maximise efficiency. So here's a pic of the uh, sink strainer uh, that I've used today. Uh, as you can see, it stopped quite a bit getting into the brew and I'm hoping this will uh, lead to a cleaner beer. So what I'm doing here with this one boil-wise is I'm not putting uh, any hops in to start with and I'm doing an hour and a half boil uh, with the first hops going in at 60 minutes. Uh, the reason for this is just to bring some extra flavours in. I really do love the smells that come from a beer like this, uh, very, very nice. So the first hops are now in and I've decided to use my hop spider. Uh, one of the things that's very important with these is you need to give them a really good stir just to make sure that the hops do the job. I'm going to be using uh, Lion's Golden Syrup today and uh, one tip I would give is uh, when you measure it out, put it into a glass and then pour some of the boiling hot water into that glass and give it a good mix up. This will make sure that you get all of the syrup that you want into your brew. So that's the brewing done now and it's time to chill down and uh, as you can see I'm using the uh, Blickman uh, through meter and really love this thing. So after about 10 minutes I got down to the temperature that I want before I can pitch my yeast so it's time to do that. So now I'm holding the uh, wall out pipe as high up as I can. I've actually extended it with some extra silicon hosing just so I can do this, so I can introduce lots of oxygen into the wall. Once I put half of the wall in, in goes the yeast and then goes in the rest of the walls. So I had some questions from people regarding my fermentation and what I do is I use what we call in England the uh, plumber's putty. Um, what you see there is the Norwegian version of it and I have a probe and I fix it to about the middle of the fermentation vessel and I find this gives me the perfect temperature. Uh, this probe is obviously uh, connected to a temperature controller and the temperature controller has this uh, brew belt that you see here. This temperature controller is an STC 1000 which are very popular but I do have various other types uh, which I think are actually better than these. A quick note about cleaning now. Every time you clean your grain father, it's very, very important to remove this little spring and ball that's found on the malt pipe uh, and give it a good clean. I had a lot of fun on this brew day and I'm really looking forward to trying this once it comes of age. 
Uh, and as you can see, I hit exactly the gravity that I was after. So a very successful brew day. I hope you enjoyed this brew day video and uh, also the tips and tricks uh, put into it. Uh, I do do these videos regularly, so please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thanks for watching.